Welcome back. This is Watertown365. You are whoever you are, and we have information about what is happening in Watertown in this day and age. And let's get to it. Let's talk about some things that are happening, such as, but not limited to, an arm wrestling club. Are, are you an arm wrestler? Are you a tough guy or gal? Are you interested in competing with arm wrestling? We have information about that. A local Watertown girl buys Christmas gifts from Angel Tree for less fortunate children. There is information about your COVID-19 booster shot. Have you gotten yours? I just got mine this week. I was reluctant. I'm not reluctant, but I just thought like, is it really necessary? Yes, but I don't want to get sick. Well, I need to make the time for it. Just make the time, make it happen. And we have information about a Santa Claus pub crawl. If you're a pub crawl person, I've never done that personally. Sounds like fun. And we have a COVID-19 update and information about two different businesses in town. So let's talk about it. Let's get to it. Let's talk about a new club at Wonderland Ink Factory. Look at this, arm wrestling. There's nothing to do in Watertown, says Amy J. Robinson, a full-time apprentice at Wonderland. So, oh, okay, so that's a tattoo shop, I, I assume, if it's called Ink Factory. They said there's nothing to do, so let's have an arm wrestling club. The club's first tournament was held November 13th at Wonderland, which is at 128 Franklin Street. 40 people showed up. That means it was a success, right? If 40 people show up to anything, that's a success. Uh, and so the next tournament begins noon Sunday. The matches will be potluck. Participants in different weight classes will put in $10 in a jar with the winner taking all. Competitors are weighed at Wonderland. So I assume that means so that way you can pair someone in, in your weight class. The matches are quick but fun. And they are looking to see more females involved in the new club. The first tournament attracted four women. So that means 36 men, four women. It means 90%, uh, 10% ratio. Uh, and if you're interested, call Wonderland Ink Factory. Here's the phone number. 315-681-6544. Four, four. They will provide water and Gatorade, and as if it couldn't get any better, there will be a tournament after party, 5 to 10 p.m. at the Pirate Plague Production Studio down the street, right? So the this is at 128 Franklin Street, and then the after party is at 124 Franklin Street. Uh, they will host special musical guests with a $10 fee. At one time, Arm wrestling was a popular sport in the North Country, especially Lewis County. But according to Times, or according to the the New York Times, I believe, uh, in March 1984, a record-setting 183 contestants competed in the ninth annual Northern New York Arm Wrestling Tournament at Beaver River Central School, which was one of the largest arm wrestling events in the state. So there's a little bit of arm wrestling trivia to counterbalance out the the slight promotional aspect of that news story right there. And so something that is not at all promotional is a local girl has bought some Christmas gifts from Angel Tree for less fortunate children. Every year since she was five years old, Elena Hudson has collected and saved money to grant wishes from the Angel Tree and provide Christmas gifts for the less fortunate children. And what happened is she's only eight years old. She turns eight on Monday. She was at first able, able to buy a gift for one child, then a girl and a boy the next few years. And this year, with her family helping by saving change after cash purchases, including her grandparents in New York and Oklahoma. So both sets of grandparents plus her parents are doing the whole I'll buy something for $19.10, hand over a 20, and use that 90 cents left over for this good cause. And with all the change saved up, Elena raised $500. She purchased 23 gifts for six children to fulfill their wishes, and she gave them candy canes filled with M&Ms. She bought toys related to Paw Patrol, Play-Doh, a Baby Alive doll. And what happened was when Elena was just four years old, she saw an angel tree and asked her family what it was. They explained that some kids don't get Christmas presents. So at just age four and now at age eight, she decided to join in. And each year, the Community Action Planning Council of Jefferson County puts on the Holiday Angel Tree Program. So if you're looking to 
be a nice person, donate, give back for the holiday season. Here's what happens. Here's how it works. Area families fill out applications that list their child's Christmas wishes and community members can choose to fulfill those wishes. There are usually multiple angel trees across Jefferson County, including Sam's Club, Walmart, the Salvation Army. And uh, so th this is a pretty cool thing that is happening and we can go on and on and you can find out more at our friends at nny360.com or reporting about it. We're also talking about it at watertown365.com. Uh, and so what a cool story. Uh, what, and that's, it's good, right? That means that there's not so much news that we don't have time for the, the fun stuff, for the nice uh, updates. It's a nice news story that is happening. Let's talk about the walk-in booster clinic. A state-run COVID-19 booster shot clinic will be held at Jefferson Community College's gym on Sunday. The walk-in clinic will run 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. It's touted as a booster clinic, uh, but they are prepared to administer first or second doses of the vaccine if needed. So it's not too late. If you didn't do it before, you can still get caught up and get your first or second shots or your booster. All three brands, the Pfizer, the Moderna, and Johnson & Johnson should be offered, but it is unclear how much of each kind if you're a, a picky person, uh, but they will be administered on a first come first serve basis. They're hoping to have a huge turnout and demonstrate high demand because the way that this thing works is if the if the test run, if the small batch run does well, then that means more funding. That means they can repeat the, the program. So if nothing else, if you need your booster, if you're overdue for it, if it's coming up soon, if the timing is right for you, then check out this walk-in COVID booster clinic and get it done. So that way it's one less thing to worry about, especially during the holiday season. And if it does well, then it will do well again. So that's Jefferson Community College's gym on Sunday, December 19th. All right, Santa Claus pub crawl. Let's find out about that. It's, it sounds a little frightening, uh, but let's get the website open. The Santa Claus pub crawl will feature a trivia puzzle-based scavenger hunt that will be held 5 to 8 p.m. This is put on by the Watertown Downtown Business Association and its Downtown Art Committee. They are looking to raise funds for the mural gallery at the Veterans Memorial River Walk Park. You can register at the mural gallery and you'll receive a commemorative ornament. You may come alone or uh, per compete in teams. This will cost $20 for singles or $15 per person for groups of two or more. You get a Santa hat, you must wear it during the event, and then you get a card with clues to your destination with a space to write the answers for Christmas trivia questions. The committee will provide each location with a small poster that contains a Christmas trivia question and a QR code virtual photo booth to scan. So now we are living in the 21st century. You're scanning QR codes on your phone. You need to solve the clue, go to the location, find the sign, write the answer to the trivia question on the card, and proceed to the next location. And while at each location, you may purchase menu items or drinks at your discretion, so you don't have to get super sloshed or drunk or eat a bunch of food. You can just go and visit each of these businesses. Uh, and so, uh, so yeah, this is uh, something that's happening where they are trying to raise $200,000 to purchase up to 22 murals for the 500 foot long wall at the eastern end of Riverwalk Park off of Newell Street. So if you uh, notice, here's a picture right here of this big long wall and looks like there's a little bit of graffiti there. They wanna cover up the, the blank ugly wall or the ugly graffiti with some actual murals there. $200,000 required and that is what the pub crawl fundraiser is all about. Now let's talk about a, a COVID update, see how that's going. There was one death for COVID-19 in St. Lawrence County on Thursday, 208 new virus cases. That means that St. Lawrence County is at 152, 121 new cases, 29 hospitalized due to the virus. Jefferson County, 66 new cases. 
and 28 patients. And then Lewis County, 21 cases with nine hospitalizations and 38 deaths. So there's some numbers there. Some people are in the hospital, definitely still here. Uh, so it's good to know that those things are happening. And speaking of things that are still here, let me tell you all about PeriOpticalNY.com. When you, I'm talking to you specifically, when you feel some pain in your eyes and you can't see clearly, then you need to pay your eye doctor a visit. Wondering where to find a quality eye care service in Jefferson County? Perry Optical Team has been helping the North Country see better for more than 30 years. Perry Optical is catering to families and individuals specializing in patients with special needs and clients who may be hard to fit for glasses or contacts. That is PerryOpticalNY.com. You can see their email address, phone number, hours of operation, address. They're located at 1125 Arsenal Street, Watertown, New York. Here's Dr. Charles Metzler, who says the mission of PerryOptical is to help the North Country see better with customized services catering to families, individuals, and specializing in patients with special needs and clients who may be hard to fit with glasses or contacts. So good to know, Perry Optical for your eye care needs. Let's also talk about True Cut Tree Service on Reasoner Road. I always forget the website here. So this is truecuttreeservices.com. Whether the weather took your tree down, or your tree is old and dying, or you just want to see more of your own yard, TrueCut can remove any unwanted trees efficiently and effectively. TrueCut Tree Service provides professional tree trimming and has the equipment to deal with 24-hour emergency tree removal. That means winter blizzards, ice storms, microbursts. They have seen it all. That is True Cut Tree Service at 20377 Reasoner Road. Their phone number, 315-836-4828. And that's a lot of letters and numbers. So just go to truecuttreeservices.com and you can watch some videos, get educated, see some photos of tree removal done right. True Cut Tree Service provides the right manpower, the right equipment, at the right price. Don't pay more for inferior service. And don't pay anything for the latest and greatest news happening around town. Go to Watertown 365 to find out about the improvements to the Washington Street Monument, to find out about a student who earned a rare perfect score on an AP English exam. Perfect score, can you believe it? That is a smart kid. Watertown has a $16.5 million fund budget, so find out what that means and what they'll use it for at Watertown365. And while we're at it, find us on Facebook. That is facebook.com slash Watertown365. I need to go where I'm logged in, though. So facebook.com slash Watertown365. And here where is where we can find out about uh, just some fun jokes. N National Maple Syrup Day. Happy Hanukkah, and so much more. That is Watertown365 on Facebook. We will see you there, and thank you for tuning in. And uh, whoops, fi uh, to find out what is the latest and greatest happening uh, today, tomorrow, this week, last week, in and around the Watertown, New York area. Have a wonderful evening.